everybody. Good day. All the personal readings have been completed. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is in the description box. Okay, so let's take a look. I'm just going to do energies today. Two energies. Today's my son's, my oldest's birthday. The big 16. Oh my God, I'm getting old. <laughs> um, so I'm taking him out for brunch and enjoying the day. Oh, confused. I'm not confused. <laughs> <laughs> uh, spirit saying you're not old at all thanks <laughs> all right so let's check in and see what is going on with divine feminine energy Ooh, divine feminine is resisting a tower strength this is actually good. I feel like you're resisting coming completely unglued and you're holding it together with the strength card and doing the work. You're like, nope, not falling apart this time. I'm standing in my strength and my power and I'm pushing through this. Yep. I'm balancing my feminine and masculine energies. I'm being patient. I'm being balanced. Dealing with, you could be dealing with a water sign or someone you love very much here. Yeah, working on something here. So what is the future energy for Divine Feminine? Future energy for Divine Feminine? Depressed. You're upset, but you're holding on to your Twin Flame connection. What is Divine Feminine upset about in the future? Someone being sneaky and manipulative. Someone here who you wanted a future with. You saw a future with. Could have been someone here who you were stuck with. A hangman, right? Stuck and making a decision, perhaps. And you were like, hmm... Do I want to stay or go with this person? Well, I feel like you end up letting this person go because they're sneaky. Any clarity around who this is? Wow. Could be a twin who is also juggling someone or making a decision between two. I feel like in the future, someone's going to come tell you something. Empress lovers, divine feminine is going to make a decision. I feel like you're going to choose Hierophant. For some of you, you're going to choose to stay in your marriage and work on the relationship because you find out that your twin is being manipulative. And you're like, wow, I can't choose them. But I can choose a soulmate. Wow. Very sad energy, to be honest. What is current energy for Divine Masculine? Current energy for Divine Masculine. Stuck in a marriage. Wow. feeling stuck in a marriage, right? But I feel like he's choosing to end it. He's going towards his Ace of Pentacles. He's offering an Ace of Pentacles. But I feel like he's... Why is the Three of Swords here? I feel like this person is someone who got out of a marriage... They're reconciling with someone here who they could have put in a third party. Um, and But they are going to be single. Mm. 
what's hidden about this, what this Divine Masculine is doing. What's hidden is that they have someone else. They have someone else. And it's not the wife. Wow. It's someone new. Could be younger than you. Than Divine Feminine. And this is upsetting. Could be 10 years younger than you. 10, 10. For some of you, this person could be 20 or 34. This is a soulmate. This is a soulmate. They could have met this person online. They definitely ended things with a karmic energy. So who is Divine Masculine going towards? Yeah. Someone else they feel like they have a connection with. They feel like they love them. This is not Divine Feminine. Wow. What is future energy for Divine Masculine? Future energy for Divine Masculine. Oh, shoot. Page of Wands. Could be going towards this water sign. I feel like it's a water sign. Um, or they just love this person. 1111, Divine Masculine. Okay, is this their twin? I feel like it's their twin now. Oh, no. I asked, I should have said out loud, but I asked who is Divine Masculine walking away from who he feels is toxic, and it's the twin. So, like I said, he Divine Masculine feels like this new person they met can give him 1111, a happy, balanced, healthy connection, and he's walking away from his twin who he views as toxic. Yeah, he does still love the twin, but he's like, I got to do what's best for me, and this person is not best for me. This person is, could have gotten a divorce, okay? Um, this took a lot of strength for this person to do this. Okay, so let's see what divine, will, the tw will these two twins ever come back together? Will these two twins ever come back together? These two that I'm seeing, will these two ever come back together? This wanted to come out. I don't think so. There's something negative about this divine masculine that creates conflict. There could be a negative attachment or this person just is negative. The devil. This particular divine masculine just encompasses devil energy. Devil energy is low vibe. Like this person lives from a low vibration like all the time. And I think his twin is starting to see that or their twin is starting to see that. She's starting to know that.
um, this isn't for everybody. This is just for specific few. What is the devil energy, though? What is the devil energy that this divine masculine is living from? This is an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This person has trust issues. They have their guard up. They could be very cold and detached. So they could suffer from stress and anxiety. Um, they're not in touch with their feminine energy at all. And they don't want to be. They could focus on money, right? Ego-based things more so than anything. Right. It's only when they're by their self that they're emotional, but they don't express this outwardly or with anyone else. And I feel like they've made a conscious decision not to do this. Um, water energy hierophant. Some of them, some of them could stay in a marriage because of money to a water sign even. And the reason why is because they are matching this person's energy. Yep. Yep. I feel like this is a conscious decision. Like they know full on what they're doing and they don't care. So why has this divine masculine backtracked so much? Why are they making the conscious, conscious decision to do this now? Just to live in ego. To them, this feels like freedom. Living in this karmic contract Having this karmic contract feels like freedom and opportunity to them. They feel like this is where they're supposed to go. This is their wish fulfillment right now. They feel like their twin is a gift and that they know this, they connect with them, but they doubt this person they have a lot of doubts about this person. They may not be able to control this person and this bothers them. So they're releasing them. They're releasing their twin. They know the connection. They appreciate the connection, but they don't care. It's because... No more third party, but they're too guarded, and I don't think they're wanting to do the work. So what should Divine Feminine focus on right now? What should Divine Feminine focus on right now? Focus on the rejection. Focus on why you feel rejected and try to move past this rejection, okay? This is a storm. But this is for you to see past the false mask, perhaps, of an air sign who caused nothing but conflict in your life. And they may have tried to control you. And spirit is saying, you need to release this person. You finally see this person is not changing. This person is not making any changes. Release them and avoid allowing them to control you. This is your freedom. Be free of this person and see your self-worth and what you expect from someone. 
Wow, this is... Whew. Hmm. This person may have only wanted a third party with you, right? That's what Spirit is saying. And by releasing them, even if they are your twin, Spirit even clarified, this is your twin. This is 1,000% your twin. But if this person only wants to keep you as a side piece, you've got to kick the, the twin off the stage. Exit stage left. I deserve better. What does Divine Masculine need to focus on at this time? Their self-worth and expectations as well. Family, home, and commitment. Forming a solid foundation in a masculine, healthy masculine energy, not a toxic masculine energy. Expressing your truth. You need to stop avoiding change. Stop avoiding completing karmic cycles here. Stop trying to control people. Get out of your shadow. You're living from your shadow, which is devil energy. Get out of it. You're only doing this because you're scared and confused and you're suffering because you don't know what to do. You're like, well, I don't know if I make that decision. If I... If I leave this karmic situation, will everything work out? I don't know. I don't think so. Wow. Then that will be the bed that you lie in. You are an air sign and you need to take care of yourself. Remove the mask so you can plant something different and new. And your twin is mirroring back what you should do. I feel like your twin is doing everything that you're supposed to be doing. Your twin, you should be doing exactly what your twin is doing. And you're not. You're stuck. Living a lie. You're living a lie. Told you. You're living an ego. This is why your divine feminine is guarded. This is why your Divine Feminine isn't making a decision. This is why your Divine Feminine isn't fully choosing you because you're not fully choosing her or yourself. Listen to your intuition to create change and end these karmic contracts. You're connected with an Earth sign twin. <sighs> what is coming towards both of the twins that they may not see? What is coming towards both of the twins that they do not see? What is coming towards both of the twins that they don't see? Information communication about some kind of action being taken in the fall. I feel like both of your intuitions are going to be telling you to do something. What is it going to be? What is their intuition going to be telling them to do in the fall? I mean, we're almost to the fall. First day of fall is September 22nd. Something that you've been confused about for a long time. This is change. What is it? What are they both going to do in the fall? Change. <laughs> in karmic contracts. This is divine timing. Earth signs going to be open to receiving and not doing third party. They may even say, hey, I'm not doing third party. That's toxic. You may feel, oh my God. Divine Masculine, you may feel guilty and feel like, oh, shit. Well, there I go, making another mistake. No. Divine Feminine is still going to be in their receiving energy. Take off the mask, Divine Masculine. Get out of this energy. Something faded is coming. What is it in the fall? A commitment between you 
two. No more distance, no more ego, no more cold and detached, but abundance and gratitude for the connection, for the commitment between the twins. This is a gift. This is abundance. This is your gift from the universe for doing the work. So, okay. So I feel like you guys have backtracked. Well, yeah, kind of, yeah, both. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Both of you kind of feel like you backtrack. Like, well, I don't really want to say feminine backtrack. I mean, they stood up for themselves. So divine masculine kind of backtracked a little, but it's still going to work out. And that's why I wanted to see what was coming because I'm like, geez, this took a turn. I guess this is just a speed bump that you guys are going to go through and then um, you're going to get through it. 